Hello, and welcome to Clouder. In this video, we will look at how you can join and chair or present in a live stream event inside Clouder. Clouder's live stream events are highly capable and may include playback of pre recorded video, live presentations, and live Q&As. Our platform handles everything to do with your conference's live streams, including things like gathering and captioning videos, automatic playback of pre-recorded videos, the front and backstage experiences, and recording sections of the live stream for automatic post-publication. We do not rely on YouTube or Zoom for our live streaming services. As a chair or presenter, you need to do just three things. One, prepare in advance. Check your camera, microphone, and screen share are going to work at least the day before your event. Second, be in the right place ahead of time. Find your event in its room approximately 20 minutes before its scheduled time. And third, join the backstage area. You can join the speakers area for your event up to 20 minutes in advance. You can enable your camera, microphone, and screen share so you're ready when your event goes live. Clouder handles everything else for you, including automatically transitioning your backstage area into and out of the stream according to the schedule. Your conference organizers will have added you to your events in advance, so Clouder knows which events you're due to chair or present at. As a chair of an event, you may also be asked to look out for questions in the text chat and put them to the presenters, as well as possibly introducing presenters at the start of their presentation. If you are hosting a Q&A that follows the playback of a pre-recorded video, you do not need to introduce the speakers as they will have already done so during their pre-recorded video. Let's see what this looks like in Clouder. First, log in to your conference. We recommend using Chrome or Firefox from a laptop or desktop for the best experience. Please don't use an iPad, iPhone, or Android phone for presenting at your event. This is not a good experience for you or attendees watching your presentation. Next, find the room for your event. There are a few ways to do this. The quickest is to find the room listed under Today's Program Rooms in the left sidebar. However, if you don't already know which room your event is scheduled in, you can open the Happening Now section to either see your upcoming event or search for your name to find it. Attendees arriving at the room will see the live stream and a summary of the ongoing or upcoming events. If you arrive very early, this is what you will see too. Nearer the time of your event, around 20 minutes in advance, you will see the speakers areas. There will be one speakers area for each event you are due to chair or present during. For example, as a session chair, there may be three papers being presented back to back, each with a Q&A. Each presentation might consist of a pre-recorded video followed by the live Q&A. In this case, you would see three backstage areas, one for each Q&A you are chairing in the session. Your conference organizers will have chosen the format of the schedule for you. The previous example is just one way of configuring a session. Another example might be to have three papers, each with a pre-recorded video played back to back. This could then be followed by a single live Q&A event discussing all three papers, with all the authors able to answer questions. In this case, you would see a single backstage area for the single live Q&A. During the 20 minutes before your event is live, you should open the speakers area for the next event you're due to present at. Then enable your camera and microphone and join the room. Lastly, if you are a presenter, you may need to share your screen. You can enable this after joining the backstage room. You are now ready to chair or deliver your presentation. You will see an off-air countdown in the time before you are live. You should trust this countdown. Live streams have between a 5 and 30 second lag between when you speak and when what you say is seen in the stream. 
This means that if you try to watch the stream while presenting, you will see a delay between your actions and them appearing in the live stream. For this reason, you should trust the live countdown timer to let you know when you are on and off air. During a live event, you will see a new countdown, letting you know how long you have left. Please be aware that at the end of your time, Clouder's live stream will move on to the next event, be it a pre-recorded video or another live presentation or Q&A. This means that you will be cut off mid-sentence, so you should try to bring yourself to a close a few seconds before your event ends. The room has a chat associated with it. You can find this in the right-hand chat sidebar. You should look out for questions in the chat, particularly if you're chairing the event. We recommend reading out the question and the first name of the person asking it. For example, Ed asks, how can we control the layout of the live stream? For example, can we do floating heads over a screen share? An excellent question. For most live events, all you'll need to do is join the backstage and present. But for a more curated experience, you may also wish to control the layout of the live stream. The default layout is auto mode, which will attempt to show up to 10 video feeds, including a screen share. You can also choose from side by side, full screen, and picture in picture layouts. Simply click the stream layout button, pick the layout you'd like and the video feeds to show and click set layout. You can return to auto layout at any time. At the end of your event, your conference organizers may have enabled Clouder's asynchronous discussion rooms. If so, you will be taken to a new breakout video chat room to continue the conversation about your work. You should join the video chat and wait a couple of minutes for interested attendees to join you. These discussion rooms are not recorded at the current time. That's all there is to it. Clouder handles everything else for you. If you'd like to prepare in advance by ensuring your camera, microphone, and screen share are going to work, please use any of the social rooms or create your own private one to practice. Mac users in particular will need to try this the day before their event. Please be aware that on many systems, if your camera or mic are in use by another application, such as Zoom, Microsoft Teams, or Skype, your browser will be unable to use your camera and microphone. Please quit these applications before attempting to enable your camera or microphone within your browser. Mac operating systems have additional security controls in the system preferences. These can prevent your camera, microphone, and screen shares from working. You will need to allow Chrome or Firefox to use your camera, microphone, and screen share, and then restart the browser. For Windows, Mac, and Linux, you will need to allow Clouder access to your camera, microphone, and screen share. In Chrome and Firefox, you can control this using the icon in the left of the address bar. Alternatively, you can use your browser's site settings. If you are a chair of an event, we will usually invite you to a training session to practice using live streaming. Thank you for watching. We hope you found this introduction to Clouder live streaming useful. We look forward to watching your live presentation inside Clouder.